people who watch movies. Some people like movies. Some love movies. But we target those who live for movies. Because we have the power to turn film fantasy into reality. We will assemble a team of masters to train and transform you. No one threatens cocktail hour. Hello? Each time the phone rings, you must follow our instructions precisely. And in two weeks, we promise you will get into character. Into character, subject 0584, Bob Hornsby. Film, The Natural. Character, Roy Hobbs. Meet Bob, devoted family man, talented graphic designer, but above all, a baseball fanatic. An ordinary man with an extraordinary obsession. Bob once had a chance to make it in the big leagues, until fate kept him from pursuing his dream. But like his idol Roy Hobbs, he's gonna get another turn at bat. Can we turn this into this in just two weeks? We requested that Bob put together a pickup game with friends and family as the final step of his audition process. Oh, Bob is totally obsessed with baseball. He's not playing, he's watching, he's not watching, he's coaching. Yeah, I know he lives for the sport. I know he plays, you know, at least six nights a week. He's been playing it probably since he was like five or something. He coached me this year in Little League, and he was the best coach I had so far. He always wanted to be a professional baseball player, that it's just in his blood to be that. He was born to play Roy Hobbs because he has the exact same identical spirit that Roy Hobbs had. He's a guy that would go and give his shirt off his back for anyone and everybody. And it's just like time, like he finally gets his break. It would fulfill his lifelong dream. Yeah. Congratulations, sir. It's the phone for me? For you. Hello? Good afternoon, Bob. Your dedication to baseball is truly impressive. Oh, thank you. We've decided to turn your film fantasy into reality. In two weeks, you will step up to the plate in a professional ball game with 8,000 fans watching. Really? Yes, really. Your escorts will arrive in three, two, one. <laughs> Please follow them and await this phone to ring again with further instructions. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Bob, and good luck. Bye. Wow. Feel me in the minor leagues, Mr. Hornsby? Oh, it feels great. Are you ready to be a role model for the youth of tomorrow? Sure. Oh, Mr. Hornsby, this is for the times. Yeah, is this Mr. Hornsby here? Yes, it is. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Right See ya, guys. I'm the big boy never too old. Hey, there, huh? Hey, you nervous? Hey, dream two comes true, huh? Did you know what's that? Hey, Paul, how's it feel to be a part of the American dream? How come we never heard of you before? Before you get in there, huh? Okay. <laughs> you guys are scamming me. <laughs> it's beautiful. I always wanted to be Roy Hobbs because not only was he a great natural talent, but he had a true passion for the game of baseball. My father taught me when I was a kid the love for baseball that I have today. And when I turned 13 and the coaches were talking about me playing professionally, my father passed away and I lost my way. And I lost my passion for the game of baseball, just like Roy Hobbs. I always wanted a second chance to play professional baseball. Step into the plate, look around, big crowd, see my sons up in the crowd, and show them what I can do. And that would truly be a dream come true. I have a really special bat that I didn't get to show you yet, but it was my father's. It has electric in it. My, my bat, it's no old hickory, but it can smash the ball. Hello, Bob Hornsby here. We trust you're having a comfortable ride. When the limousine stops, enter the building and walk down the stairs. At the end of the corridor, turn right. Bob? Yes. Wayne and Chicky, nice to meet you. Hi, Wayne. Want to be the, your hitting instructor? Wayne Krinchicki.
Baseball Master. We're going to go to the batting cage and find out uh, what kind of abilities we have. We have it set at 85 miles per hour and see how you do. Right. You know, I know you've played a lot of softball. Um, softball, the batter's boxes are much longer okay. than they are in hardball. Okay. I was dealt a softball player uh, with a pretty ugly swing. All right, that bat's done. Most important is bat speed in, in hardball compared to softball where it's brute strength. I'm getting tired. I know I'm going to hit it out. I just got to know. I, I just go practice a little bit more. Uh, the next master is going to have his work cut out for him. Good morning, Mr. Hornsby. Please get dressed immediately in workout attire and come outside. A vehicle is already waiting to take you to this morning's first location. This is what I look like at 6 o'clock in the morning. The muscles are a little sore from yesterday. Chuck Artisone, Strength Master. I'm here for two weeks to work with you. I'm a Roy fight, Hobbs is sir. a hero of yours. Yes, he is. Your name is Bob Hornsby. It sure is. You guys sir. got nothing in common right now. Okay. The only thing you got in common is your last name begins with H. That ain't much, right? That's not much. I'm here to train you. Okay. You understand? I'm here to work you hard. Yeah, Home run hitters are big, they're powerful. Look at yourself, you're skinny. Oh. Hustle, yeah. You gotta learn to work through the pain. You okay. understand that, right? Yes, sir. All right. Remember Roy Hobbs? He was bleeding. Yeah. He still got up there and hit that home run. Yes, sir. <laughs> Jesus Christ, 10 was hard for you. Yes, it was, sir. What's going on with that? I don't know. I guess I'm out of shape, sir. Yeah, you're damn right you're out of shape. We're going to tone you up, make you strong, and give you power. <laughs> Come on! You always want to quit on me, man. I got something in my back. It's killing me. I got two weeks with you, and this is your first day, and this is how you act? You quit on me. Now, what's the matter with this guy? This guy says he plays softball six days. He might as well keep playing softball six days. Play with the girls, that's where he belongs. My back hurts, my legs hurt, my uh, my brain hurts, you know, my hair hurts. That's how much I, you know, hurt today. Hi, coach. There he is. How are Good you? Good afternoon. In this tunnel and in this batting cage, there's a lot of blood and sweat. <laughs> so we're gonna start with basics right now, and okay. we'll go from there, right? Great. And what we're gonna be doing is, we're gonna be hitting the ball with one hand, pulling it through, You want your weight going at the pitcher right. and not this way. Right. All right? There you go. We're going to do soft toss right now. Ooh. He's a very good coach. It's going to be hard for you to get your hips. He's taught me more things in a half an hour than I've learned my whole life, and that's a very long time. I think I could probably hit one out from second base. Right now. If I'm going to be Roy Hobbs, I've got a lot more work to do. Coming up, it's sink or swim when Mom meets the crowd master. He's very nervous. Very, very nervous. He can't even sleep at night. He just wakes up in the middle of the night and he's just thinking about the whole thing. It's just like a dream come true for him. Hello, Bob Hornsby, graphic design. Pardon the interruption, Bob. Please meet the car outside. Wear loose, comfortable clothing and bring your sense of humor. Hey, look at that. What's going on? How are you? Let's see, what's this say here? Finley the Shark, Crowdmaster. You've got a bat and you're learning to hit and you're getting into shape, but there's still one part of Roy Hobbs you're missing. He was able to rally the crowd and get an entire stadium to fall in love with him in baseball. It's time for you to learn how to entertain an audience. <laughs> All right. Entertain an audience, okay.
football is fun, and that's that's what we were doing out here. We were we were creating fun. Good morning, Bob. Please collect your belongings and meet the car outside. Expect a long journey into your character's past. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Claire Garman. Hi, I'm Bob Hornsby. Today you're going to learn to make a bat. Claire Garman, wood carving master. All right, this is the wood shop, Bob. This is the bat. This will be your bat. Wow. And the first thing we have to do, we got to take some wood off of there. Oh, I see now. Now I got the flow going. Oh. All right, now we have to do it on the other two edges. Oh, I figured you'd say that. The treadle lathe. Okay. Treadle lathe? Yes, we uh, no electricity. We have to use the treadle lathe. All right. OK, here we go. Like we got the rhythm going there. Hold. Huh. Is that a wild animal? No, I believe that might be the ox. My own version of the Wonder Boy. The way he's attacked the uh, first ever turning of a, of a bat, if he goes up to the plate with that frame of mind uh, to, to do it, and with a good heavy hit on the bat, he certainly can hit a home run. I forgot my safety glasses. What, what are safety glasses? Well, it's the end of uh, week one. I've learned a lot. I've learned how to be a mascot. I've learned how to hit a baseball. I've learned how to be patient with my swing. I feel like we've made a lot of progress. Uh, uh, we're halfway there, but I'm a bit nervous about this because it looks a lot farther than uh, my imagination. Can I do this? I don't know. This will be your one chance to show what you can do. Yes, I am. I'm Manuela. Manuela Harding, Style Master. Hi, Manuela. Hi, come with me. I'm going to be a stylist. Oh, wow. <laughs> I have a totally open mind. Good. OK, well, open mind is good. Come with me. OK. You just go through, actually. Oh, thank you. I'd like to follow you. Basically, you've got to go blonde. I was afraid of that. Lighten the stuff what up. What we really need is that kind of golden glow. Yeah. 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 And you have, have a nice little tan. Go out. Heavily highlighted, mind you. I think the hair's going to push it. I think the hair. Me too. I think that'll add know, another 20 feet to the ball. They say blondes have more fun. Maybe blondes are better ball players. That's I don't know. That's well, possible. I guess this is Hollywood, huh? 
Is this what happens? It's definitely something of the Redfords about him. You know, Redford's a real kind of classic American, good looking, um, and he has those great piercing blue eyes. We've been chatting and he just keeps saying, I love baseball more than anything, you know, and I think it's really nice that we're sort of getting the chance to give him this opportunity to live a bit of a dream. Why not? What do you think? Do you like yourself as a blonde? I'm in shock. Wow. How do you feel? I feel like a different awesome. person. So Bob gave you some good cards. Hi, honey, I'm home. You're blonde. Yes, you, I am. You're very blonde. You like him, Mom? You look gorgeous. <laughs> you definitely look like him. I mean, the blue eyes and the blonde hair. Just as handsome. <laughs> mm, I'm glad you like it. You look good. You're like, I'm going to be cheating on my husband. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get over it. You I just look so great. <laughs> Yeah. My son, the handsome blonde that I never had before. That's oh, beautiful. Mm -hmm. oh, nice My wife too. is yeah. the greatest thing that ever happened to me. My family is the greatest thing that ever happened to me. I used to think that, oh, I could have been a great baseball player. But what's more important is that I have this, and that's my life. So this time through, the second time through has been a life-changing experience for me. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Bye, kids. You surprised me. I've been surprised all week. I thought there was no more surprises. Your teeth look nice, too. They really do look good today. I'm not going to hit with this, but it's good. It's good for me. It's good luck. It keeps my father with me. Thanks, Finley. Hey, how you doing? Hey. Hey, how you doing? About to go out and play some ball. All these young kids. All right, I'll be out. Takes us old guys a little bit, a little bit of time to get out there. Look at that, huh? Number nine. That's a good number. That's a magic number, isn't it? You like a ball player? I always wanted a second chance. Love and life, my dream come true. Now batting, pinch hitter, number nine, Bob Hornsby. Tonight at long last, 42-year-old Bob Hornsby gets his chance at the plate. Son Richie is bringing out his dad's homemade bat. Thanks, buddy. steps up to the plate. It's been an extremely long journey to this moment for Bob Hornsby. Here's the pitch. Fouled away, strike one. Hornsby digs in. Hornsby's down to his last strike.
Here's the pitch. And there's a drive into the left field corner. Hornsby round second. Hornsby heads for third. Here's the throw. Bob Hornsby is safe at third. A triple. His first big league at best, and he hits a triple. Everything was so great. Uh, kids were asking me for autographs, and, and one kid wanted me to sign his shoe, and, and uh, people were high-fiving me. He looked like he was a professional baseball player. I was really impressed. He looked the part. I thought his hitting was great. It was a good, solid bat, and I think he used it very well and uh, hit the ball good with it. You heard the sound of the bat crack, you know, and the audience screaming and everything. I mean, the guy was... I'm sure he felt like a million bucks. I think that we actually have some type of a relationship, friendship. I'm really happy for him. He's probably going to sleep good tonight. It was everything that I ever dreamed it could be. It was just wonderful. I, 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 wow. Character development complete.